Graham, after falling behind, I'm sure you're delighted with that response from your side this afternoon. Uh, I'm, I'm dad, delighted with the result. I'm delighted with the goal scored. Um, not delighted with the way that we approached the game at, at some times. Um, not delighted with the fact that we had to go a goal down for us to actually get started and show a little bit of um, competitive spirit. But after a few choice words at half-time, I thought the guys reacted really well in the second half um, and they were better with the ball. They were better without the ball as well. Um, and you showed a little bit of, of what they've been about all week. And I was a little bit worried coming into the game because they've been fantastic in training. They really have. They've been great in training. Um, I've given them loads of plaudits and loads of praise uh, and you hope they take it into the game. They didn't quite manage to do that, but I think you saw that we've got the capacity to score lots of goals. As you mentioned, you scored lots of goals and your guys, particularly second half, they were clinical. And that's one of the challenges they've got. They've, they've got to get away from this bit where they're playing um, academy football, where it's about dominating the ball and looking good and maybe we'll win the game, maybe we won't. They have to definitely win the game. Um, they're getting sat professionally here now and, and we have to help them in their education as to what that looks like and I think that games like this game today will definitely go and do that. The guys have obviously had the, the experience of the, the games programme last season and top opponents this season. When you play games such as this without any disrespect to Patrick Thistle, does that perhaps show that the, the level they can find is a lot higher? We're going to try and create players who go have to go into any environment, uh, Scottish Cup, SPFL, Europa League, hopefully the Champions League at some stage, regardless of where they turn up, regardless of the opponent, they have to go and be the maximum them they can be. Um, I didn't think we were that, not all the time in the first half. They showed the capacity, but they didn't manage to sustain it. Um, and they have to get used to that. Wherever you go, you have to go and perform at your maximum. And, and when they do, they're, they're awfully good. They've got some good abilities and good attributes. But it's not just right that we can turn it on when they want, they have to turn it on all the time. I know you're not one for singling out players, but your, your right hand side with Jordan Houston and Daphne Wood, the two of them combined really well today and both had, had good, good games. Uh, Jordan's been at that level for a little while now. Um, and he was like that when he went away with Scotland. I uh, had a few choice words with Daphne at half time because I thought that in the final third he was particularly destructive and, and hard to deal with. But I thought the rest of his game needed tidying up and he did that in the second half. So fair play to him for reacting in the right way. But I'm not surprised at Jordan's level because that's what we expect from him on a daily basis now. Uh, and he's got to continue to push on because he's catching people's eye. You've got a, a busy couple of weeks and I'm sure one for all the players to look forward to. But it's because we, we need to make sure that they, they see what they're all doing. They're here playing games and trying to win games and, and they have to keep an eye on the long haul as well. It's difficult for young men. You have to keep them motivated. Games like this, challenges to go and retain the Glasgow Cup that we have, but also some good games coming up in the games programme. Keep them focused, keep them excited by the games programme. But if any young footballer at Rangers need, needed anything else than the realisation they've got an opportunity to play for this football team in the first team, um, they need a reality check. And gladly ours don't need that. They can see it, they can almost touch it now. Um, but it's up to them to try and make those next steps. And that, is that something that's been mentioned? I know the likes of Kai, for example, won the Glasgow Cup last year, but some of the guys haven't done it before. This is a chance for them to go and do that. Well, it was really interesting at half time. Uh, one of the players in there uh, got into his teammates in a good way, saying that he wanted to be in the final, he wanted to be at Hamden, he wanted to go and retain that cup, and, and the rest of the guys needed to, uh, in no uncertain terms, um, get their levels to the right the right levels and get their attitude right because they weren't going to stop him doing that. And I thought that was fantastic. It means something to the guys. They want to win things, and we need people with that winning mentality at the football club.